A protest in the context of government contracts refers to a formal complaint or challenge made by an interested party, typically a contractor or potential contractor, who believes that a government procurement action or decision is unfair, unlawful, or otherwise improper. The protest process allows concerned parties to seek remedies when they believe that the government's actions in the procurement process do not adhere to applicable laws, regulations, or the terms of the solicitation. Protest can be filed for various reasons, including bid protest. This is the most common type of protest and occurs when a contractor believes that the government's award decision for a contract was made unfairly. This could be due to issues such as favoritism, improper evaluation of proposals, or violations of procurement laws and regulations. A bid protest can be filed before or after the contract award. Size protest. In cases where a small business believes that a larger company does not meet the eligibility criteria for small business status in a specific contract, a size protest can be filed. This challenges the alleged large status of the competitor. Disadvantaged Business Enterprise, DBE. Protest. This type of protest is specific to contracts that have DBE participation requirements. A protest can be filed if a contractor believes that a business certified as a DBE does not meet the eligibility criteria. Contract Performance Protest. This protest can be filed if a contractor believes that the awardee of a contract is not performing in accordance with the contract's terms and conditions, potentially violating performance requirements. Debarment or suspension protest. If a contractor is debarred or suspended by a federal agency and believes that the action was unjust, they can file a protest challenging the decision. Depending on the specific circumstances, protests can also be related to issues such as sole source awards, changes to solicitations, and disputes regarding the terms and conditions of contracts. Rules and procedures for filing a protest can vary depending on the government agency involved, the type of contract, and the specific regulations governing the procurement. Typically, a protest must be filed within a specified time frame after the alleged violation or issue occurs. Protests are typically reviewed by designated agency officials or boards, and decisions can range from upholding the protest and taking corrective action to dismissing the protest if it lacks merit. Protesting government contract actions is an essential mechanism to ensure fairness, transparency, and compliance with procurement laws and regulations. Contractors and potential contractors use this process to seek redress when they believe they have been treated unfairly or when they suspect improprieties in the procurement process. Steps for filing a protest. When a small business needs to file a protest against a government agency's procurement decision, they should typically contact the agency's designated protest office or official. Here are the key steps to follow. Identify the contracting officer. The first point of contact for many procurement-related issues is the contracting officer, CO, responsible for the specific contract or procurement action in question. The CO is typically the individual with whom you've been communicating throughout the procurement process. Consult the solicitation or agency website, review the solicitation document or the agency's website for information on how to file a protest and whom to contact. The solicitation may specify the protest process and provide contact information for the designated protest office or official. Contact the Office of Small and Disadvantaged Business Utilization, OSDBU. For small businesses, especially those involved in small business set-aside programs or socioeconomic preference programs, e.g. 8A, HUBZONE, SDVOSB, WOSB, the OSDBU within the agency can be a valuable resource. They may provide guidance on protest procedures and may even help facilitate discussions with the CO. Review agency-specific guidelines. Different agencies may have their own protest procedures and designated offices. Consult the specific agency's regulations or guidelines, which can often be found on the agency's website or in the Federal Acquisition Regulation FAR supplement issued by that agency. Look for sections related to protests, challenges, or disputes. Submit a formal written protest. If discussions with the CO or the OSDBU do not lead to resolution and you decide to proceed with a formal protest, 
you should prepare a written protest according to the agency's guidelines and submit it to the designated protest office or official. Legal counsel. Consider consulting with legal counsel experienced in government contracts and procurement law. They can provide expert guidance on the protest process, help prepare a strong protest, and navigate any legal complexities that may arise. Remember that the specific procedures for filing a protest can vary depending on the agency, the type of contract, and the nature of the protest. It's crucial to closely follow the agency's guidelines and adhere to any specified timelines for filing protests. Timeliness and adherence to procedure are often critical factors in the success of a protest. If you are looking for additional information on how the government handles protests, you can find this information within the Federal Acquisition Regulation, FAR. The FAR outlines the fundamental rules and guidelines for government contracting, including the process for filing and handling protests. Here's where contractors can find information within the FAR. 1. FAR Part 33, Protests, Disputes, and Appeals. The primary section of the FAR that addresses protests is FAR 33. This part contains detailed information on the procedures and rules related to protests, disputes, and appeals. Key sections within FAR Part 33 that contractors should consult include Subpart 33.1, Protest Procedures. This subpart provides an overview of the protest process and outlines the procedures. Contractors should follow when filing protests. It covers topics such as when protests can be filed, the contents of a protest, and the agency's responsibilities in handling protests. Subpart 33.2, Disputes and Appeals. In addition to protests, Subpart 33.2 addresses the procedures for handling other types of disputes and appeals related to government contracts. Contractors can find information on how to resolve various contract-related issues through the dispute resolution process. FAR Clause 52.233.2, Service of Protest. Contractors should also review the contract clauses incorporated into their specific contracts. In many cases, government contracts include FR Clause 52.233.2, Service of Protest, which outlines the procedures for serving a protest on the contracting officer. It typically provides contact information for the contracting officer and specifies where and how to send the protest. 3. FAR Subpart 33.103 Protest to the Agency Subpart 33.103 of the FAR goes into greater detail about the process for filing protests with the contracting agency. Contractors can find information on the required format for a protest, timeframes for filing, and procedures for notifying the agency of a protest. Contractors seeking more detailed guidance on the protest process may also refer to agency-specific regulations and guidance. Each federal agency may have its own procedures and regulations related to protests, which could be included in their respective Federal Acquisition Regulation Supplements, e.g. DFARS for the Department of Defense. Contractors should review the specific agency's FAIR Supplement for any additional information and guidance related to protests. Protests are a vital tool for small businesses to ensure fairness, transparency, and compliance in government contracts. They enable you to seek remedies when you believe the procurement process was unfair or improper. Empower yourself with knowledge, follow the correct procedures, and consider legal counsel when necessary. And remember, the FAR is your guide to understanding the protest process.